In this video, we're going to be looking at the process method known as Kamasi blue staining. This is a protein stain suitable for developing bloody impressions, um, fingerprints, footwear, anything that's left in blood. It is a very high contrast stain and has several easy applications that can be used both in the field and the laboratory. In this dripping sequence, uh, just a pipette filled with the reagent Kamasi Blue, and it's dripped directly upon your evidence if it's visible. You can also spray it on larger areas. Most frequently you use Kamasi Blue on a dipping method where you submerge the entire evidence into a tray filled with Kamasi Blue and cascade it back and forth. Because of the overstaining potential of this, um, especially on porous items, you will need to follow it with a rinsing agent. The rinsing agent clears all the additional stain except for the item of evidence that you're looking to have the reaction with. In this case you have a bloody fingerprint so you can see the cascading effect of the rinse is taking away all the excess stain leaving just the bloody fingerprint behind has exceptional contrast ability, which is one of the reasons it's a favorite stain. Um, we're going to look at this process a little bit more closely with a close-up video so you can see the amazing detail. The bloody fingerprint here is visible. Most of the times you're going to be looking at latent evidence, meaning it's not visible to the naked eye. And if you pay particular attention to the area where it is not as defined, um, this reagent will absolutely develop those latent impressions and make them visible. Again, caution needs to be used with this dye stain. Anything it comes in contact with is going to retain that blue stain appearance. Um, if you make any contact um, with anything that you need on your evidence that is going to be detrimental to using this blue stain. A secondary um, rinse and or reagent should be considered in the applications. So when we get to the rinsing part, um, even though a majority of the stain is completely rinsed away, where it's making contact with your bloody evidence that will remain permanently stained and if you look closely to the area that was latent before there's almost better clarity in detail in the areas where it originally started as an invisible item of evidence that is going to conclude Kamasi Blue again know your reagents prior to the first time that you use them, and always test your reagent prior to use. Thank you.